So to fill holes like this, I do like to use stuff like this. It's called plastic putty, it's by Vallejo. Um, doesn't cost very much, but it's a really nice way of filling stuff up. It's got this really cool applicator, right? Just on the nozzle here, we take this off and it really sort of gets sort of that really right where you need it kind of application. Because I know a lot of fillers, you kind of have to get out spatulas and you've got to scrape it on, makes a big mess. Something tiny like this, we've got a nice applicator. We can just basically press it right down where I've made an accidental drill hole. We can squeeze there. And as you can see, it actually comes out the other end, right? Leave it so it leaves like a little sort of blob come out, right? I don't want to sort of make it nice and flush with the hole because when it comes to fillers, they shrink um, as they dry. So as they shrink, if you've got it nice and flush with the hole, it's going to sink down into the hole and you're still going to have a little bit of a bevel, uh, a bit of a bevel sort of going on there. You're going to still see the hole. But if we sort of have a little bit Hopefully you can see just sticking out. Um, let it do the shrinking, then we can do all sorts of sanding and get it nice and flush. So again, I'm just gonna target there and I can squeeze in that hole and we should sort of see it come out. Now, as you can see, where I made the mistake is I've made the hole where our side holes are. So once we've sort of, you know, let that dry, let any shrinking happen, we're going to sand it down and then we're just going to have to re-drill those side holes. Well, I've got to do that. I mean, hopefully you haven't made the same mistake. Uh, but re-drilling those whole side holes is going to be easy because it's going to be white. You're going to see where to drill. It's only drilling through plastic putty. So, boom, straight through. No problems at all. Uh, but if you do have any kind of mistakes, I do find this is a good filler to do it. Also, always, um, I know a lot of people say they don't get on with this because it dries in the, the nib end. Never had one dry on me because I always go off, I clean the end, right, and I immediately put on the lid, right, not at the end of the day or anything like that, as soon as I've finished using it, I clean the end, put the lid on, never had a problem with the nozzle drying up on me. Um, so hopefully that will probably help you with a lot of situations as well, but um, there's a few more things to go over. So what we need to do now is tidy up this bit of filler that we've got in here. So let's just bring you right in. Um, it's nice and easy, actually. I mean, we could sand it, um, but I'm quite happy with just getting a blade and we can just sort of slice the filler off of the surface to the point where you end up just seeing that little hole. We could even scrape it, right? And hopefully you can just see there that you know, the, the, uh, all we got is the hole, which is nicely filled in, and it's just, you know, slice it off, nice and easy, a little bit of a scrape, and then what we'll probably need to do is, it's actually filled in these two holes either side, you can sort of see the little white hole, um, we need to redrill them because that's where we need holes to be. Now what we need to do is this, this little piece just here, we need to sort of cut this up, mark it, put holes in it, a little bit tricky um, for our carronade to go on. Um, now it shows in the instructions, I'll just quickly sort of show you just here in the instructions, it does show us a nice little diagram um, and it just shows how we need to sort of go 5mm, the centre square needs to be 3mm and then 5mm and then the dots need to be 3mm from those centre lines and dead center for the center one um, again a little bit tricky um, and what we're going to do is we have to sort of go off we get ourselves the usual get out our um, get out our ruler just here and we sort of line this up and we want to sort of make sure we've got that five then three mil then five mil um, and we mark it I've just kind of come along and taken you know something like a blade Right, and all we want to do is sort of score it across just so as we sort of know where these lines are. And hopefully you can sort of see the little scores in there where it needs to be. Uh, what we want to do is sort of cut off the excess, right? So we can get a set of cutters, right? And hopefully, where's my cutters gone? So with the cutters, we want to cut it now. Hopefully this metal isn't too thick. Um, I'm kind of doing this a bit live on camera, but we want to make sure it's sort of nice and straight and square as possible, right? And on our mark that we've made, 
right and we want to sort of cut the, into this and oh there we go actually that cut easier than i thought it would so then we have our piece like so but what we want to do now is actually make some holes now what it wants you to do is go off and get a hammer and use the nail well what it shows in the instructions it's showing us using the nail that we're going to be using um, for actually the piece i don't know about you but i don't really want to go off and start blunting this nail hammering it in and sort of making like punch marks and stuff so i'm actually going to go off into my little toolbox and find um, an average nail so we don't waste or blunt or do anything to the nails that we're actually going to use in this piece so i've already done one hole just to get the gist of it now when it comes to this kind of thing they don't seem to want to give you measurements or what size drill bits you want to use so again getting out good old digital caliper here make sure you zero it right what i did is i went off and take took our little rod that needs to go through the hole right get your digital caliper lock it up and it does say it's around about one mil is what we need however i did drill a one mil hole and it didn't quite want to go through so i ended up doing a 1.2 only because i didn't have a 1.1 mil drill bit so i went for a 1.2 drill bit and that seems to have worked fine so as i said you know i didn't want to sort of use the nails that come with this to actually make sort of like a, a pilot hole so to speak so i just went off and got a, a you know an old nail from out the shed and um, i'm going to be using that now before we do that we want to get out um our ruler again and we want to sort of measure this so we want to be three mil from our center let's see how close we can sort of get you on this so we want to be from this line here the line that we've already marked so i'll just mark that for you as you can see that little red line we want to go from there from three mil across and to the center all right so i'm just putting that up three mil across is going to put us about there where we want focus where we want our hole to be there we go we're focusing a bit now we that's what we where we want it so what we need to do is use in a hammer and a nail we're going to make a bit of a pilot hole um, i brought this actually i forgot where i brought it from it wasn't very much but it's like one of these things you get from online hobby shops right and what we're going to do is place the nail where we've marked our little red dot hold it in position and then we're just going to tap it all right tap it a couple of times make sure we are on the hole which i wasn't there so whoops tap it a couple of times and you should end up with a little sort of a mark there bring you in closer a little mark where we've just hammered it um, and that just gives us a nice guide you know we don't want to be battering it too much because it does sort of bend the metal a bit we're gonna have to bend that back a little bit so getting out our drill bit i'm going to start off with the one mil drill bit i just find it's easier if we sort of um, you make a smaller hole before you make a big one um, now really um, it is drilling into metal which is a little bit harder so this is something that does take a little bit of time you are going to have to sort of keep on sort of let's get you on camera it is something you're gonna have to keep on sort of holding and keep sort of drilling you know it might take a bit of time but you do eventually get through so just kind of persevere persevere with it um, and then once the one mil drill bit's gone through i'll get out the 1.2 mil drill bit and that should go through nicely and we should be all good